overpronation. Bunions. I have bunions now. My grandmother had bunions and she even had surgery for it. But how can I get a decent workout in without aggravating it, without it getting any bigger? Can I still play football and not get bunions? Can I still wear shoes and get a decent run in, a decent cardio workout in, a decent plyo workout in without getting bunions? Hey guys, it's me Amanda and welcome back to my channel. I have here with me a new pair of Ultra running shoes, also known as Ultra. And the reason why I'm really excited to try on this pair and I haven't yet ever is because it offers what you call the foot shape and you can see it right here in the box. And what it means is it's not wide wide, but it adheres to the shape of the foot. And if you kind of explore the box a little bit more, it says embrace the space, and that's the space that it wants you to embrace. Over at the toe box, it will feel like your toes are nice and free and relaxed and they're not squished up in a bunch. Now, if you watch my other video on the Nike Pegasus, which you can find up there or in the link down below and you're interested in finding out what the differences are, you know, Ultra also makes shoes for trail running. They make shoes for road running and also general shoes, like for lifestyle. But I have here with me a road running shoe called the Torin 4.5s and I have it in a dark gray. And I had to size down a little bit. I really wasn't used to the space. Yes, embrace the space, but I wasn't used to the space. And the reason being is because all the other shoes that I have and that I liked and that I purchased, have that similar squished toe feel, right? I had them in my Converse shoes, I had them in my Adidas Sambas, and um, I'm really just trying to find a pair of shoes that won't aggravate my knee tendonitis, it won't aggravate or spark any acute injuries, and I just wanna be able to run without having any of those problems. So two other things that Ultra specializes in, if you're a woman, is the fit for her technology and the other one is the balanced cushioning. And it says here, right here in the back, encourages low impact landing with a bent knee and soft foot strike. So without further ado, let's see whether the shoe is nice enough, attractive enough, and it has all the features that can support excellent performance. Let's open it up. And here we go. Oh. More on that foot shape technology that they have here. And you can really see that, oh, it has the bunion that I was talking about um, in different parts of the foot that will be able to function normally and relaxed while you're using the shoe. And here we are, the Torin 4.5 plush in a size six. I am typically a size 6.5, but I think I wasn't used to all that space and it, it didn't feel like it was right, so I'm not used to it yet. So I got them a size lower in a size six, and here it is. You have a very thick cushion. This is considered high, by the way. The Torin 4.0s were just moderate cushion. This is considered high cushion because it is two millimeters higher. It is a 28 cushion and you have the toe box here with that protection and I guess you really need to see it this way to see that it has that foot shape that it's talking about right here in the box and the idea behind this is that you can run and do all of your activities even if it's road running at peace and your toes won't feel squished and this is actually a 7.6 ounce shoe, which is lighter by more than an ounce um, from its predecessor, the 4.0, and it has that locked-in feel. It has that locked-in feel supposedly because it has a thicker cushion here, and women do have thinner heels. So the Fit For Her technology is basically designed for women to enjoy a pair of shoes that are designed anatomically for our feet. And that's very exciting to me because I know it, it seems like a lot of things that you may not even think about when you're trying a pair of shoe, but for me and football shoes, it can come off easily. Heel structure is a big deal. And when you're running, playing your sport, and doing all of these things, the last thing you want is for the heel back here to be rubbing against your heel because then it causes blisters. And that happened to me with my football shoes before. Also, I complained about that in the Nike Pegasus review. So I'm hoping that these shoes can really take care of that. So another thing 
that I find very critical in choosing the right pair of shoes is of course the insole because I do have that overpronation problem. And when people overpronate, you need shoes that are called stability. Why? It can provide stabilization for your feet when it's running. Of course, overpronation they say is, is good, a little bit of it, but not too much, more than 15 degrees and you're kind of in trouble and I think mine is way above that. So having this specialized insole in here can provide the support needed. Though this is said to be a neutral shoe, it still can provide the stability I need for overpronation. At least that's what it says. So I'm gonna be trying out later and see whether my knees hurt. If nothing hurts um, during my run, then I would consider all the specifications and the features that they claim to be true. Maybe help me out in my performance. Hey guys, I just took the Torin 4.5 plushes out on a spin. It was really, really fun. Um, I felt a bit of a twinge in my left knee, but that's maybe because I'm not used to running as much yet. But then I feel as though these shoes are not like any other shoe that I've tried in that it really doesn't cramp my toes. And I feel like there was a lot more movement and a lot more of my toe muscles were moving. And it's just a completely different feel. So I like the fact that Ultra says embrace the space and uh, you just have to feel the difference for yourself I really want to take these out more maybe do a 20 kilometer run um, space it out maybe in two because I'm not an expert yet but so far so good it's cushiony but it's still responsive it's not ultra responsive like my Mizunos that I'm used to using but these are still a really good shoe I, I think that it protects the feet more and I give up a little bit more of the responsiveness for the overall um, function of the shoe so I have to see performance wise if it works um, if my 10 kilometer run is better more comfortable then for me it's a win-win situation so if you guys are interested there are other colors of the Torin 4.5 plushes they have the blue they have the mineral blue and they also have the misty rose so if you're interested go check them out I'll put the links down below but if I were you I would size down half size at least for the women's Torin 4.5 plushes so guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you have yourself your own pair of Ultras, tell me which model you have and if you like it, what your experiences were regarding it. If you think that I should try a different pair of shoes that won't hurt my feet, let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to do more of this and share all of this awesome content with you. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!